Yo, book nerds, I read Ancestor Approved, Inner Tribal Stories for Kids. This is written by many different authors, but it was compiled and edited by Cynthia Letich Smith. This is a collection of short stories and a couple poems thrown in there too. So this story is all about um, Native Americans and all these stories revolve around this one giant powwow. It's the Dance for Mother Earth powwow, which takes place in Michigan. And so all of the stories connect in some way to this. And I don't know a lot about Native Americans and I don't know a lot about the different cultures. And I really didn't know anything about powwows. And so this was just great for me. I know it says it's for kids, but for people who don't know much, this is a great introduction, I think. And isn't the artwork on here just gorgeous? Like, look at that. I loved it. It's just so beautiful. But anyway, the themes that come out through these different stories are themes like family isn't just your blood. Family is more than that. And you can make connections to other people through things that you hold in common, like powwows, like your tribe. That idea that blood doesn't define your family was relatable to me because I have step family and I grew up with people that weren't my blood um, and they are my family. So yeah, that was relatable to me. I loved this idea that powwows bring people together from all over the country, all over the world even. And I like the idea that it links people from the past to the present, even into the future. That's just so beautiful. One of the stories in here was actually from a dog's perspective, and the dog is another thing that kind of weaves its way through the entire book. I can't remember if the dog is mentioned in every single story or just most of the stories, but the dog weaves his way through the narratives, and I really liked reading the story that was from the dog's perspective. It was kind of fun. There is also a Jordan in here. Oh my gosh, this is the third Jordan I have read about this year, and it's so funny because when I did my Great Gatsby review, I said I don't see many Jordans in stories, and there's a Jordan in The Great Gatsby, and there's a Jordan in the New Kids series, and now there was a Jordan in here. It was just a side character and it was a boy, but my name was in there. <laughs> I don't see my name very often, so it was kind of fun. One thing that did confuse me a little bit in here was um, a few of the characters and some of the stories talk about enrollment in a tribe. And I am not Native American and I don't really fully understand that. So if somebody, sees this video and can explain it a little bit more to me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, Cause there were a couple of characters who were conflicted over enrolling in one tribe over another, um, saying some tribes allowed dual enrollment and some didn't. Um, so that was a little bit fuzzy for me. So if you could clarify, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. There were also a lot of Minnesota references in here and Midwest references and I'm from Minnesota in the Midwest so anytime Minnesota pops up I usually enjoy it. I definitely enjoyed the references in here better than Maisie Chen's Last Chance. I felt like these were a little more authentic. There was a quote in here that I want to share because it really touched me. Um, it was about grief and I've lost a lot of people close to me these last couple of years, especially this year I lost my best friend. And so this quote just really struck me. When you love someone and they die, you feel like the whole world should notice. All good things should stop. That is honestly how grief feels. That's how losing someone feels. And so that just really struck my heart because I miss my best friend and I miss my grandpa and my grandma who I also lost recently. And so like you do, you feel like the entire world should halt because how can the world continue without them? It's such a hard thing. So if you know that pain, I'm sorry for your loss. And I bet that quote will resonate with you as well. But again, overall, just really enjoyed this. I thought the stories were very well written and intriguing and gave me a peek into Native American culture that I just don't know, I'm not familiar with. And it gave me a peek into many different cultures um, it's not just one tribe that's talked about in here, but it talks about a multitude of tribes. So it was very, very nice. I I highly recommend it for anyone interested. If you've read this book, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you guys have a lovely week and I will talk to you next Monday. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for talking books with me.